Hi guys and welcome back to Motor Joshing. So today I wanted to actually do a bit of a review but also a bit of a tips thing um, about getting a battery eliminator kit uh, for your GoPro. So um, I've seen these battery eliminator kits on other videos and other motor vloggers that Ian187 um, sells them on his website and um, they look like a great idea obviously for being able to extend your battery further than a couple hours. And then use you know one of these battery packs so this is an anchor one um to basically charge your device um okay you will have a cable dangling down but for longer trips longer tours um it certainly might be a good idea so uh the problem i have seen though is that in most of the other um uh, battery eliminator kits none of them are waterproof so um i looked on uh amazon you know within the uk at least anyway um and they had these waterproof cases um so this is where you know you basically take the battery out this connects in the back instead of the battery um, and then you have this double case but much like most problems with motor vlogging of course if you had that second case behind the GoPro then it's not going to be the right angle it's going to wedge that's huge and then you have this massive lump in here so then you know you'd have to move the camera way further forward and that's basically a crock of shit um, so what I would say is that I've I've played about with this already um, and I've already figured out a way so if you buy the other kits um, uh, and not this waterproof one with the kind of back case um, I, I don't think this is ever going to be waterproof however the good thing with this waterproof back case one is this actually disconnects um, so you can take this out and because this now disconnects uh, you can start playing a little bit in the world of modifications so you could disconnect that this bit off here I'm gonna leave it on the bottom of the cable I don't think it's gonna bother me because um, this is gonna basically just go straight into my jacket pocket um, this is going to be in the inside of my jacket, so that's not a problem. But by actually doing having this, uh, you know, connector, it allows us to play about. So obviously, with as I've shown you before, I've already drilled in the side of this case. So um, I'm not particularly bothered about um, you know drilling again and then you know using blue tack um, and tape uh, again. So um, what I've actually done is I've actually taken uh, an, a, another back door um so i purchased this it was i think three or four quid on amazon again just another cheap housing back door and i'm not sure if you can see there um and i'm not sure how clear that's going to be uh, let's try with that um i've actually drilled a hole in the actual uh you know right in the middle of the back door and that allows me to push this cable through and it is quite a snug fit there and then connect this up um, it then allows you to connect this into the battery if you drill the hole in exactly the right place which is basically how this will sit anyway um, within the actual camera um, that'll sit in the camera flush and allow me to use this in exactly the same position um, this dangles out basically um, and then I'm just gonna tape this with some black tape just to keep this watertight um, black electrical tape um, and then just a bit of blue tack in that gap there that will allow me to basically then whenever I've got kind of longer touring things um, just put it on and, uh, and and be able to run this all day um, you know for the full length of the the memory card so a um, bit of a tip for you guys that if you're looking for a, a, a GoPro extender you can buy different kind of ones of these um, I've seen every kind of variant come with one of these kind of waterproof back case things these are the ones to go for they are a little bit more than the normal cables but you know they have the connector which will allow you to obviously um, you know freely do this and then go for some modifications on this um, so again same principle as the the kind of blue tack on there um, once you've connected this in um, you should be able to replace that pretty quickly um, and then you can always keep the battery as well and the other case in your bag and swap it out if you want to go back um, and uh, it should be a relatively quick uh, switch over um, I've already uh, played about with this one um, uh, with you know the, when the case was on before and the battery eliminator works perfectly fine um, it will allow you to do the full length uh, the whole the whole day with one of these so if you are looking for a waterproof battery eliminator um, this is definitely the one to buy. I'll put the description for everything, the anchor, the, the actual uh, thing, the back door, all in the descriptions. But uh, just thought it would be a good tip 
uh, for, for guys if you're thinking about doing this but wanting to keep it compact and just have one cable uh, out the back um, and try and keep it as waterproof as possible. Um, I'm going to obviously run with this on you know some of, the, kind of my bigger rides I have planned um and uh you know just just means i don't have to worry about that battery so much and this cable is plenty long enough to go in the inside pocket of my jacket without too much uh, uh problems and uh you know you can keep a good bit of loose cable up by your neck so you're not going to have issues with that either so anyway i just wanted to do that that review on this this bit of kit this battery eliminator and a bit of a tip if you want to have a bit of more more compact uh, type setup. Um, just make sure when you're you know, putting the battery eliminator in you just line this up. I used a bit of red pen and you can just still see it um, and then just drilled this through um, and then I had to make a couple of uh, snips just with a Stanley knife to the, to the rubber on the back of here just to make it small enough to fit through this hole which I wanted as snug as possible um, but if this is something you're going you're gonna to go for there's my tips for it guys so thanks very much and uh, I'll see you on the next one guys. Ta-da, bye-bye.